But an interesting point, just to play devil's advocate, and I want, I'm interested in what your opinion is on it. The people, the few people I have seen who have been in support of it, um, they say it's a good idea, not necessarily because the regulation will keep us safe, but because, um, you know, it's better than the other government alternative, which is an outright ban. So if, um, you know, so I think that they're under the impression that government is going to get involved no matter what. So it's better for them to pass regulation that keeps it in the mainstream on the white markets than if they just had an outright ban on it, which would push it down, you know, back to the dark net and into black markets like drugs and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's what like do you think it's worth it or do you even think it's necessary? Do you even think that would happen if there is an outright ban on Bitcoin? <sighs> you know, um it's hard to say. I'm not sure what an outright ban in the United States would look like. Uh like if 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 Obama came out tomorrow and said that virtual currencies are dangerous, they support global terrorism. And he goes down this long laundry list of like things wrong with Bitcoin and virtual currencies. Um, you know, what that okay, Coinbase, BitPay, these large companies that have set up, you know, they 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 I don't know, they might shut down. Some of them might shut down. They might be too terrified. But like the the overall like grassroots community um, would probably just look at that and be like, well, should I listen to this asshole government who you know massacres people on a on a yearly basis in whatever new war they came up with, <laughs> and, and and all these bullshit laws, or should I just keep doing what I'm doing anyway? And you know the government doesn't have nearly enough manpower to go around you know, arresting people who work in Bitcoin and confiscating their mining machines and like all, all of this, like I, it's, it's a scenario that I think that even people in the government realize that they could never really pull off. Not in a, not in a country as big and diverse as the United States. There's other smaller countries that might be able to ban Bitcoin more effectively because they have smaller jurisdictions. Um, Argentina, Ecuador specifically, but, you know, it's, I just, I don't think that that would have really that much impact in, in the United States at all. And actually, if the, if the government did straight up ban Bitcoin, that would have some pretty big headlines across news organizations mm -hmm. and actually promote Bitcoin more to the masses. People want to do something more when it's not allowed. So people would research it more at the very least. Yeah, I, I think I'd have to agree with you. Because, um, you know, I, I think a, an outright ban on Bitcoin would motivate a lot of people who are really interested in Bitcoin, but who are, you know, politically agnostic. They don't care either way what happens uh, politically. They're just not interested. I think it would inspire a lot of those people um, to actually take a stance on something. And, um mm -hmm. You know, just practice some good old-fashioned civil disobedience <laughs> and just, like, ignore it. And um, Yeah, hell yeah. Like, I, I think there's a pretty good, we have a pretty good example of that with China. You know, how many times have they tried to ban it and how well has it worked out for them? You know, they haven't even been able to shut down the exchanges yet. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, another example. Like, that they have a big, large country with a ton of people in it, and it's pretty hard to ban something that people can just use on their computers. Yeah, and the Chinese government has um, much more power over their people than the United States government does because, you know, they they came from, you know, um, a communist background. Uh, they're yeah. still communist in name, but not necessarily communist in practice, but they still are pretty oppressive when it comes to civil liberties. Very controlling. Um, so they have, they have a lot more resources that they can use to um, put down any... Uh, political uh, dissident uh, activity uh, that the U.S. just doesn't have. And they and um, China hasn't really been successful in their ban, so I don't see uh, why the U.S. would be successful in theirs. Yeah, and Russia, Russia has supposedly banned Bitcoin again. Um, good luck, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know I don't how successful that's going to be in the short term. I don't think theirs is actually an effect, though. Uh, they've, they've passed some amendments 
or they're adding some amendments onto a law that's pending, uh, getting ready to go into effect. And um, once this law goes into effect, the amendments would ban it. Um, but they've already had a ban in place since February, I think. And, uh, you know, they didn't really enforce it. It didn't really stop any Bitcoin activity in Russia, from what I know. 